Yesterday was Ann Arbor's Mini Maker Fair, and I was really excited to attend. This was the fifth Ann Arbor Mini Maker Fair, and it seems like it's gotten bigger and bigger every time. There were tons of things on display from robotics projects to the Nerdy Derby to 3D printing and all sorts of other stuff. Many of the local maker groups, such as Rocks and Robots, MakerWorks, Brain Monkeys, and many others were on hand to show off projects and give kids and adults and makers of all ages really the opportunity to see what sorts of great things exist in the maker community. I was presenting with a group of students from Ann Arbor STEAM. We were showing a project that we had done taking an old set of orchestra bells and turning it into a new playable instrument, which was a really fun project. I want to point out a couple of highlights from my own Ann Arbor Mini Maker Fair experience. The Nerdy Derby was on hand, and it was great seeing kids having a chance to design, build, and then test out their own cars on the track, and they really, really were thrilled by it. My own daughter made a car, and she had a lot of fun with the whole process using the hot wire cutter to cut foam and adding accessories. Also on hand were some of the high school robotics teams from Ann Arbor Huron as well as Chelsea showing the first robotics competition bots that they had made and those were always a big hit because the size and scale of those are really really impressive. It was also fun to see the technology aspect of how their bots worked, especially the webcams on the robots that let them see how they were being controlled. The nerd band Wesley and the Crushers were also at the Ann Arbor Mini Maker Fair, showing off their costumes and their instruments and playing some songs for attendees. These were a huge hit. As soon as I saw them, I had to point them out to one of the students that was with me, and he immediately ran over to check them out. Their costumes were great. Uh, they were a lot of fun. They were really a fun addition to the Maker Fair. I also met Kevin from Vivergy, who is showing some of the work that his group has been doing on using low-cost and open-source sensors to track pollution in the Ann Arbor area. And I'll let him explain his project. So what we have is a couple like low-tech visualizations of air pollution and a couple high-tech versions. So what we did is we hung up a plate covered in Vaseline for five days in downtown Ann Arbor. So Vaseline is obviously clear usually, and what you can see is day one and day two are more like pollen dominated, and by day five you've got more like nasty air pollution getting mixed in. And what we also did is we took uh, a vacuum and just ran it outside just sucking air, so we put a cough filter over it, started sucking air, and um, this is 16 hours outside, so you can see a visible difference. And this one, we lit a cigarette on the other side of it and then sucked the uh, air through that. And finally, my daughter got to check out the Oculus virtual reality headset, and she thought that that was really, really cool. I didn't get a chance to try it out myself, which I would have loved to have, but I was busy working with our students. She said it was great, and I believe her. I'm looking forward to getting a chance to try it out myself. So all in all, the Ann Arbor Mini Maker Fair was a great success. It was another great year. I was really excited and pleased that I was able to attend. Huge thanks to all the organizers and everyone who came out to check it out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe to my YouTube channel or check me out on Instagram at Bill Van Loo.